how they make edge treatment. What I do is I cut strips an inch and a sixteenth, and then I glue them together on aluminum U-channel, but I have some fabricators that have made up a piece of uh, MDF uh, with laminate on it, and they glue all the strips together like this. Now what happens is every other strip gets glued together. Now these are all separate strips in here. And all you do is you take one of the cove clamps and you put across this couple clamps to hold it down to the rail. You got to make sure that you wax your platform before you put them on. So then you end up with a strip final like this. Um, and it, you'll see the squeeze out on the back side. Now what happens on this rail is that you'll have squeeze out. You'll need to hit it with a file, run it through your table saw, and then you'll end up with sticks like this to put on your deck. Now there's an advantage to this because you don't have to worry about how thick your substrate is. Whatever substrate you buy you can cut your front edge. The other thing is is you're going to have a factory finish as your front edge. So all you have to router off is a half inch deck instead of a full one inch okay. of material. Makes uh, sense. So this is Basically, what, how you can do it, you can make up your own boxes. I have several fabricators that do that, uh, as long as it's flat and level. Uh, some fabricators say, well, it takes longer, but it really doesn't because you got so much to do in solid surface work. It, the setup time and the, the, the time you save in routering and sanding, you can actually save about 35% on a kitchen and fabrication time by switching to this method. The other thing is you don't have to worry about your particulate going through the material like you'd normally do on a stack layered edge. And some fabricators will do one edge and another edge on top, which okay. is very time consuming. 